What's going on, guys? This is Bruce Matson, your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football, where I talk about all things fantasy football, Dynasty, Redraft, DFS, Devi, all that stuff. Hit that subscribe button, and if you're interested in all that, ring the bell. But I'm making a quick video today about Devonta Smith. He weighed in, or stated he weighed 170 pounds. That's information we already had. We knew he was slender going into the draft process. And I just want to get out my thoughts and feelings about how he should be valued in Dynasty Fantasy Football, rookie drafts, and all that. And where I think we should capitalize on this at. I don't believe that he'll be 100% bust, but I also don't believe he'll be like destined automatically to be a Hall of Famer either. I think he'll be a good pro player. I think he'll be good at the NFL. I think, I think he'll be productive. I, I cannot promise you that he'll give you wide receiver one results off the, off the bat. I can't promise you that he'll even give you wide receiver two results off the bat. And I don't know for sure if he'll give you the production a lot of people are looking for, that elite caliber production, that Justin Jefferson-esque. We saw that kind of this year when he won the Heisman. He blew up. We saw that potential. But we also got to look at the downsides here. Of course, 170 pounds. Saw that in the thumbnail coming in. But he also was a late breakout age. He broke out late in college. And he's also an older prospect. Those are all red flags that says that there, there could be some bust potential with him. These red flags might be enough just to prevent him from developing into a long-term wide receiver one. Or de developing into a long-term fantasy football asset that everybody wants. He may have a good career and just hang out under the radar with good production, like kind of like a Tyler Boyd-esque player, where Tyler Boyd's had a good career so far. He's had some good seasons, but also no one's really planting that flag for him either. That is what I kind of see in this profile, because you see a lot of uh, this, you see a lot of this. More in life, it's going to meet in the middle. I don't see that as a bad thing. I see him as a good a good player. I think there's a 50-50 chance that he could hit his upside. And there's a chance that he can hit his low side too. So I would not be surprised if he becomes a top-tier fantasy football asset. I just wouldn't be surprised. We saw it this year. It might have just all came together late. He was playing with a lot of first-round prospects at the same time and stayed for an extra year and blew up he might have just developed late and he's just going to be an outlier on the opposite end of the spectrum those red flags might be painted in bold and they're really going to hinder him i feel like it's going to be somewhere in the middle of that and i'm going to treat him as a player that's going to be in the middle so he's going to have high draft capital in rookie drafts. He's probably going to go behind at least two of the running backs and Jamar Chase. So you're looking at what, third, fourth, fifth player selected in drafts. Not a bad price point for someone who's going to be getting drafted in the top 10. However, this is a deep wide receiver class. So one way I can capitalize on this is trying to trade back, maybe getting a late first and a mid second or something like that. It's going to be pricey for me to trade back because I'm not going to give up a wide receiver drafted high in the first round that has a lot of promise that, that just won the Heisman Trophy. I'm not going to just give that up, especially when I can pivot to other players too. There's just a lot I can do with that pick. But in this draft, I, I do like to have some of that late first round talent and that early second round talent because that th those are all players that could blow up and they all have good profiles. And those players' profiles are not far off from Devonta Smith. That's one of the reasons why we see a lot of disparity because the players or wide receivers rated behind him are not too far off in caliber to him. So that's one thing I'm going to try to do. I may try to get him more in startup drafts than actual rookie drafts this year because I feel like rookies, before, right before we get to the draft, they'll, they'll jump up in value, but right now that this is where he'll be at his discount before he goes up in price a little bit so if i can catch him on the cheap in a startup draft i may pivot to him outside of that i'm just gonna walk that fine line to see where he's at in the draft and try and get him at the right price point 
I also do not want to come away with zero shares of him because he did show me that upside this year. So I do want to get some shares. I just don't want to go all in. I look at him as a high-risk asset with a lot of potential. I feel like he has the potential to blow up, and I feel like he has the potential to bust. And even though that, my feelings and my gut reaction is that he's going to be somewhere in the middle of that, it doesn't align with the price that you got to pay for him, considering that you could trade back, get two good wide receivers in rookie drafts, draft someone else, a veteran who's proven themselves in startup drafts. And th those mistakes can really hinder your team for a little bit. So it's something you want to think about. I'm not out on Devonta Smith. I'm right on the middle. And I'm not letting the weight <laughs> dictate that, the BMI. However, that on top of everything else has me a little leery. I think he's going to be an all right player. I think there is a chance that he blows up and be good. There's also a chance it will be a bust, but I think he's going to be somewhere in the middle. And that middle may not be what we want in fantasy football, but it may make him a good NFL caliber player. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking along. If you liked what you heard, if you're interested, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll get you next time.